Welcome back to another Presently Mini Tour. Today I'm back at the Art Gallery of Peterborough to check out some installation-based artworks that consider the gallery space in relation to the body of the viewer. This is Okay, 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 Okay by Carolyn McDougall. It was made in 2018 as a spray foam insulation painted white. All of these OKs are pinned to the wall. They're just kind of hanging right on tiny, tiny nails put into the wall on a bit of an angle. OK is one of those words, it's really tiny, but it does so much work for us in the English language. It can be an agreement, it can be an attempt to shut down an argument, it can be a personal mantra or a centering breath. It's going to be okay. It's never great, but at least it's not terrible. And right now, it has a lot of resonance for a lot of us. This is a measure. It's by Emma Aurelia, and she made it in 2016. She actually made it with hand dyed and hand woven textile, which she stitched into this bag. It's got rivets in it, and those are attached by chain to the ceiling. It's hanging, and what you can't necessarily see is that inside it, she's got a whole bunch of play sand. Now, in a regular time, what would happen is this would be hung in a gallery space and people would be invited to interact with it and maybe kind of bump into it like they would bump into each other. So with this hand-woven fabric and this thicker hand-dyed uh, thread, we've got a fairly wide weave. So there's a lot of space between the warp and the weft. And in all of those little gaps, the sand can actually fall through. So what happens is, over time, as this exhibit is exhibited, it kind of acts like an hourglass, and sand falls right through it to the ground, making a bit of a record of all of the things that has happened to it and the time in which it's been exhibited. As necessary lockdown measures were put in place across the globe, reports of domestic violence increased. I'm here with low Scots every five days, and it's considering domestic abuse. So it makes a lot of sense that it's here in this exhibition. This sculpture has a lot of data in it, and she's really working from that stat. If in a given year in Canada, every five days, a woman is murdered by her domestic partner, then in a given year, 73 women are murdered. And here we have 73 cast heads. Low Scott has cast these as marble dust and hydro power into a mold formed on top of an artifact of domestic abuse. A sculpture was thrown at a partner, and the main thing that remained intact was this head. This sculpture envisions that head flying through space, slowly rotating. Every fifth head, the work turns towards and away from the viewer. It's hung right at eye level, so when it's looking at you, it's directly confronting you. And then it slowly 